Ethiopia and Greek agree to uplift bilateral ties. And heads of state and business leaders meet in Abidjan to discuss investment expansion. Those are the top stories in this news edition. Hello, welcome to EBC News with the news I'm Shemil Islam. Ethiopia and Greek foreign ministers aimed to agreements on maritime cooperation and other areas of mutual collaboration. The two countries are also mulling over air connectivity, where Athens would be one of the destinations of Ethiopian airlines. Shifar Olag attended the event and has filed this report. Ethiopia and Greece have had long-standing, friendly relations. They also celebrated the century-old diplomatic friendship last year. With a view to furthering this cordial friendship, a business delegation led by Foreign Affairs Alternate Minister paid a visit to Ethiopia and conferred with Ethiopian Foreign Affairs State Minister. The visit witnessed an agreement meant to beef up multifaceted cooperation featuring maritime collaboration between the two friendly countries. We have discussed about everything from economic cooperation to cultural one how we can make uh, uh, the ties between our peoples even uh, better and uh, stronger. And we have signed also an agreement regarding maritime transports, give the possibilities to Ethiopian sailors, sailors to work on uh, the Greek uh, uh, fleet, merchant fleet, which, as you know, is the biggest of the world. The, this agreement will give us opportunity, uh, actually give opportunity for graduates of the, uh, the trainees uh, for the training center of the maritime for uh, to navigate uh, vessels of Greece. Uh, that's very important. Uh, it's, not only, it's, not, it's important not only in terms of increasing employment opportunities, but in terms of enhancing the quality of the, 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 uh, the training that we are offering. The two nations are also pondering over connecting Addis Ababa and Athens through the national flag carrier, Ethiopia Airlines. We have uh, discussed very concrete things. For instance, uh, we should envisage a treaty regarding aviation so as to restore the direct flights between Ethiopia and Greece, which used to exist, but now they, uh, they would not have uh, similar uh, flights. We also discussed uh, uh, the possibility of signing an aviation agreement in the future so that uh, Athens can be one of the destinations of Ethiopian Airlines. Uh, that is also going to be uh, brought to the attention of the Ethiopian Airlines and other relevant bodies. Greece is also an important partner in the tourism industry. Our enterprises are uh, uh, very active in uh, different fields, for instance, water sanitation. But uh, I think there are other areas we have discussed, for instance, about uh, museum management, uh, exactly because you have such a rich cultural heritage and uh, such an unleashed potential regarding the tourism that maybe we could, could be of help to you. The tourism contributes to about 18% of the GDP of Greece. So uh, they have very good infrastructure, very good knowledge, and very good promotion uh, skills, and uh, would like to take their experiences and uh, create collaboration uh, with the Ministry of uh, Tourism and increase the flow of tourists to Ethiopia. The two countries are also desirous to reinforce investment partnership. We have a lot of uh, unleashed potential, both regarding the governmental relations and the relations between the private sectors of the two countries. Ethiopia has expressed its readiness to offer attractive incentives to additional Greek investors who are keen to venture into the country's lucrative businesses. As I have said time and again, I want to assure the people of Egypt and the people of that of Sudan that this construction will cause no significant harm to the people of our three countries and specifically to the people of Egypt. The future 
is a new relationship between Ethiopia and Egypt based on a win-win strategy. The past is a past based on zero-sum game. That is dead. The will will continue to be solid and we will not allow any obstacles to delay our progress or to take us to the past we already overcome. I can assure you there is no going back. The baby is not going to go back to the womb. It, that is finished. Cooperation is the only path to achieve development and without cooperation the, our peoples will lose the opportunity to have a dignified life. So we must work together to create a paved ground for cooperation. Upon completion, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will serve as a crucial factor to transform East Africa and beyond. Ambassadors of different countries that have visited a colossal dam at different times witnessed that Ethiopia is building a dam that benefits the Nile Basin countries. Abraham Ashraf has more that. Harnessing the Nile River, the colossal Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam project is reaching completion. Though some countries were skeptical on the very low effect of the construction of the dam, countries in the region are in favor of the project, considering a mutual benefit of the Nile River for the basin countries. The road from Galaba to Ethiopia is the major factor to strengthen our relationship. The two countries are also linked with power. We use electric power from Ethiopia. Now we will connect the guard with Khartoum. Therefore, when the dam is completed, we will get additional power from the Grand Dam. As the dam is beneficial for the countries in the region, regional initiatives like Intergovernmental Authority for Development, IGAD contributed twice for the construction of the dam. It is a regional project. If we are talking about even before the, the completion of this dam, all the energy that we are talking about that we use in the region uh, coming from Ethiopia, it means we are going to have more in this region and the region will be able to interconnect its power to other power pools. Considering the dam's minimal effect and its importance to the regional transformation, the global community have also exhibited support. Ambassadors that went to the site of the construction of the dam in different times have witnessed the success of the project. I see here today, it looks to me that there's been great attention paid to developing this project in the right way, in a responsible way. And uh, I think that could put partner, uh, regional neighbours at ease uh, when you see the care and the thought and the design that's going into this. Obviously, Ethiopia um, is the source of the Nile uh, and must benefit from that. Um, but to do so in a way that is neighborly, that factors in the interests and, and, and the, 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 the welfare of all of the states that benefit from the flow of the Nile um, is just the right thing to do. And so I'm very gratified to see that that is the approach Ethiopia is taking. I think it's a wise decision of uh, the government of Ethiopia to have this uh, dam that benefits all the people of Ethiopia and, of course, the neighboring countries. Ethiopians used to curse Nile for eroding their fertile soil and also flooding their habitat. But now it seems the Grand Dam is proving the rivers. Residents of Bahadar town said the progress of the Grand Renaissance Dam is an inspiration to sustain their contribution. Since the inception of the Grand Renaissance Dam, the state of Amhara contributed more than 1.1 billion baht. Abraham Ashraf has won that. Sarawark is a resident of Bahadar town. She says that she is proud because she lives to see the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. She has been contributing in different forms, beginning from the commencement of the construction of the dam. Recently, she has also visited the project site and mesmerized by what is happening at the spot. Oh, wow. I was very happy to see the water reservoir in the whole process present at the place of the construction of the dam. I have so far bought a bond worth 3,400 per. I want to contribute more in the times to come. Others in Bahadar say that they are determined to contribute for the dam irrespective of their current meager income. <laughs> Despite my small income, I am purchasing bond in my capacity. My dream is to see through the construction of this dam. 
whatever it takes, I will continue my contribution because it's important for my country. In line with the board purchase, residents of the Amhara state are also playing significant roles through basin development. <laughs> 